So here's the thing, before we get into today's video, some of you may have noticed that the camera in the last video wasn't necessarily always being held by me. And that's actually down to something quite exciting. I've got a new piece of camera equipment that will be coming with me with a lot of my videos now. It's called an automated remote camera holder. And I've got it with me in my camera bag to show you today, just before we dive into the video. Take a look at this. Are you ready yet? I've been waiting ages. Yeah, yeah, we'll go in a minute. So there you have it. That's Arch. Now I guess just gotta get out and shoot some more videos. Let's go. Come on, fella. <sighs> so we just arrived at Chapwick Heath, the place where we're hopefully gonna see starlings in quite significant numbers. However, uh, there's a few other nature reserves nearby and we don't know the area very well. But when we were last in the area, we were told by a local who worked at the cafe near here that there's a starling hotline that we can ring. So Archie's got the number on his phone, I'm gonna try and ring him. What was it they were saying? Was it for um Where they were where, nested the night before. Where they nested the night yeah. before. But so they they suggested asking locals as well. Okay. So we'll ring them, see if they answer. Never done anything like this before. Um, and then go and speak to locals. It's an automated message that just tells you where they nested. Starling hotline. Last night, the starlings roosted on Ham Wall. Parking is available at the Ham Wall car park. Postcode Brava Alpha 69 Sierra X ray. Please park considerably by not blocking gateways or obstructing traffic on the road. For more information, please see our website, avalonmarshes.org. That is pretty cool. I mean, as far as wildlife based information, um, when you're trying to photograph something, that's about as clear as it gets. I didn't uh, remember the postcode though, did you? <laughs> Ring him again. But I guess we're in the wrong place and we need to head to Ham Wall. Time to get ready. I'm feeling quite excited. It's like an atmosphere. <laughs> like, it's packed. Let's get, get all uh, wrapped up, I think, because we're going to be standing still for quite a while. Take long at all? Ah, I'm not being cold. I'm not. <laughs> Hello. Hey, Where is it? We should be going. Have you start. been before? Not really. No, so, so up up the main track. So yeah. you're just coming up from here, and it's about a ten minute walk, and you get to a viewpoint, mm -hmm. uh, and that's the best place to sort of be at the moment. Oh, okay. Or, um, you'll so see other people. Yeah, yeah. You'll, 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 you'll see. Oh, okay. And it's all on the right hand side rather than the left hand side. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. Perfect. Cheers. Perfect. Cheers. Apparently it's just one big old viewpoint. Let's go and get set up. So we're coming up on what is essentially the main viewpoint. I really think I'm going to fall over doing this. <laughs> um, I'm going to set up the tripod with the big telephoto because it's got the fastest aperture and can let in the most light. So it should let me keep taking photos until the light's almost gone. Um, but I may have a mad panic midway and switch to a wide angle lens and try and capture everything. But Today is more about the experience than it is the photo. I'm buzzing. <laughs> so, uh, I've been here a little while now and it's making me a little bit uneasy with the amount of people just walking straight past us. Why's that? Because it makes me think that we're stood in completely the wrong place and the starlings are just going to be having a laugh behind us or something. <laughs> but we've got to hold on nerve. Hold on nerve. Have faith. <laughs> oh god. Well, we it's um. I think people are mistaking our uh, tripod and camera setup for some level of confidence about the situation. 
happened, uh, maybe not realising we have no idea what's going to happen. <laughs> I feel kind of bad. <laughs> Apparently it's all kicking off behind us. So we're stuck with a decision. Move positions to a slightly worse off one to try and get some photos and footage. Or use my experience and wait it out. <laughs> Experience tells me wait and you're rewarded, but then I've never photographed startling memorations before. It's pretty exciting though. I'm gonna wait, I think. But Arch, are you gonna go and check it out? I'm gonna go check it out. Okay, so Archie's gonna go and see, and he may give me a call if it's absolutely amazing. <laughs> go, go, go! So Matt's being a stick in the mud and uh, wants to stay exactly where he is, but I think that there's much more going on this side. I hope to be proven right any second now. So as you can probably tell by the amount of people that's walking over there. There's a lot of people. There's a lot more over there. Okay. But hard to get a spot. There's a lot of trees in the way. Is there? Yeah. So I've managed to get a few shots and there's still a load of starlings flying over. Um, but that's just exactly the problem, they're just flying over. And really, for photos, I want shapes. It's amazing to see. Um, I'm going to try and set up and not get in people's way. But we're doing a mad dash to the spot that I actually said where there's more. God, look how many people! Mild disaster, and I can only see one glove, but I'm sure it'll be all right. You were recording? Yeah, it's on now. Oh. You asked me three times. All right. So it maybe didn't go quite according to plan. No, we're not back at the start. Uh, we're actually back a week later. Um, it got really dark, and we were in completely the wrong position to make use of the starlings. They didn't really hang around and do the actual murmurations in the sky like we were hoping. So I've looked at the footage and I've looked at the photos that I managed to get and I've come back with a plan but we're going to head in now, we're going to see if we can get a, a better position with a little bit more knowledge now about where they're going to be and what they're going to do and I'll explain later what kind of shot I've got in mind. Right, so this is probably the best point in which to explain today's plan. Um, obviously last time we were here there was loads of people and that's because it was New Year's Day. They were all just at that point just there where the two people you might be able to see walking in the distance are. <laughs> um, the starlings didn't actually stay in the air that long and they all ended up settling just over there in those reeds. Now that was actually quite tricky to photograph when you set up and faced that way instead <laughs> which is what we did. Um, so now we're back we've got a bit of an idea about what to do. Um, there is actually a boardwalk that goes right out into those reeds. We ended up in probably the worst position of a hide um, at the end of the last, the last day here. And it gave me an idea, looking back at the photos, a lot of the times you see these murmuration shots, which are absolutely amazing, these all big shapes, but you, you very rarely get a, an idea of what it's like being actually inside the murmuration. So the idea, and I say it's an idea because it's not necessarily going to work, is to go to the end of the boardwalk or find a, a better spot where I have a good view of the reed beds and try and get a shot using the big lens of actually being inside the murmuration. Um, I'll probably play around with shutter speeds as well and, and do a long exposure or two because it's going to get dark very quick. But we're just going to head out now and see if we can find a good spot. Let's get going.